And a good day to everyone. Uh, today we're going to provide you an overview presentation and demonstration of our WAN Taxonomy Library Portal. We start all of our presentations uh, with, you know, what the heck, what's, what's the value proposition? Why are we even thinking about this? And I've got one quote that I think sums it up. This is from the former CEO of Hewlett Packard. And Lou Platt said, if only HP knew what HP knows, we'd be three times more productive. And what does that mean? Okay, large enterprises, small enterprises have tremendous amount of knowledge residing within documents. Could be research documents, accounting documents, IT documents, so on and so forth. But if we can't find them, then that knowledge is asleep. And what Lou's knew is that if we could surface all of that knowledge, make it easily findable by all of the people that work within our organizations, we would be much, much more productive. Now, I don't know if you're going to be three times more productive, maybe two, maybe one, maybe four, maybe five. But the whole goal is to be able to surface the knowledge, okay, within the organization so that people can find it and use it and build upon it. A little background on our company, WAND has been building taxonomy since 1983. We have very, very comprehensive curated taxonomy libraries covering virtually all business domains of knowledge. But we partner with all of the software providers like Microsoft, IBM, SAP, OpenText, many, many others. Most of those applications, okay, can import taxonomies to provide data models for knowledge management. Out of the box, these applications, and SharePoint is an example, we'll use that as an example today. Out of the box, something in SharePoint which is called the term store. Out of the box, it's empty, and WAN provides taxonomies formatted for direct import into that empty term store. But an enterprise may have many, many applications into which taxonomies can be used, and we format the taxonomies for direct import into those various applications. Now, people always wonder, what the heck is a taxonomy? What the heck is a taxonomy? And I say to folks, if you can bring 100 people from your company into a room, and I'm going to ask them the question, everybody that knows what a taxonomy is, raise your hand. And we're probably not going to get too many hands going up. Then I'm going to say to that same group of people, everybody that's used Amazon.com, raise your hand. Now we got a bunch of hands going. And I'm going to say to the folks, when you do a search for the word shoes on Amazon, you're going to get 550,000 results. On the left-hand side of the screen are taxonomies. A taxonomy of size, I want a size 11. Taxonomy of colors, I want black. Taxonomy of type of shoe, I want a men's dress shoe, brands, I want L and Edmonds. Taxonomy of price, I want something less than $150. 550,000 results, narrow down to five results, okay, that are relevant to the user. I say to the folks, as long as you've been using Amazon, you've been using taxonomies. You've just never put that word to it before. It didn't matter whether you were searching for a pair of shoes, a computer, a television. Taxonomy is always on the left-hand side of the screen to enable you to refine your search results to find what you're looking for. Think about the feeling of control we have over our search when we use Amazon. We know we're going to find what we're looking for because those taxonomies are there to help us refine our results. Imagine having the same feeling of control over the search for our enterprise documents. This is what the WAN taxonomies in conjunction with SharePoint enable. Now, the analogy is a pretty good one. I want you to think about maybe 20 years ago, Amazon had this big warehouse and they had stacks of shoes and televisions. And they said, gee whiz, uh, we need to put something together to enable people to, uh, to be able to find these easily. So they said, well, we're going to tag each box of shoes with a size, a color, a brand, a type of shoe, a price, so that people can do that taxonomy-driven search. Now, the enterprise that you have, okay, same problem. Instead of stacks of shoes and computers and television, you've got stacks and libraries of IT documents, accounting documents, legal documents, so on and so forth, documents about your business activities. WAN provides taxonomies to tag all of those various libraries of documents. We'd like to show one slide, and you can show this to anybody in your company, and they're going to immediately get it. Amazon 
created a library of shoes. And they, when they checked a box of shoes in, they tagged it with the size, a color, a brand, so on and so forth. And on the right hand side, the enterprise said, we're going to create a library of HR documents, nothing confidential, just documents that we're either calling our manager for, calling HR for. And let's take a look and see what that that library actually looks like. And when we do a search for the term HR in that library, as you can imagine, we're going to get everything. And on the left hand side of the screen, just like Amazon, the same terms that we tag the documents with are refiners in the search results. And I need an expense form. So just like Amazon, quickly able to find what I'm looking for, do a search, and there's my reimbursement request form. So it's just that simple, nothing complicated. Taxonomies enable taxonomy driven faceted search so we can find things. We like to simplify taxonomies even further. We spent a lot of time on this, maybe four or five minutes altogether, okay? Because we want to demystify that term taxonomy. We want to make it very, very familiar for people. And they look at it and they say, gee whiz, just like Amazon. Okay, boy, we can find our documents within our companies with the same ease of use as Amazon. Boy, this is great. We suggest taxonomies are the data model for unstructured text. And then I would say to folks, there's no such thing as unstructured text. It doesn't exist. And if I put one of your company brochures on the table, if I put a Wall Street Journal report on the Wall Street Journal article on the desk, you'd say to me, hey, these are two perfect examples of unstructured text. And I say to everybody out there, all of us can read your company brochure. We understand it perfectly. All of us can read the Wall Street Journal article. It's not unstructured text for the human brain. So we make a small modification, this first statement, taxonomies are the data model for unstructured text that we can use in computer programs like SharePoint, many others, to provide a data model that replicates how the human brain organizes a domain of information. We would suggest implicit taxonomies or how the human brain organizes information. And these implicit taxonomies have been developed ever since the day we were born. I have a five-year-old granddaughter. The first term she knew were the terms wet and dry. The terms hungry, my stomach is full. She didn't put words to those concepts, but from the day she was born, she started organizing a knowledge base. She's five years old now, knows there's a top level term of food, a narrower term fruit, apples, oranges, bananas, narrower term to food, baked goods, cookies, brownies. She's organized that domain of knowledge food into logical broader, narrower, narrower, narrower terms. We do the same thing with geography, continents, countries, states, cities, districts. And we do the same thing with all the enterprise domains of information. The explicit taxonomies that Wanda has developed are simply representations of how the human brain and enterprises organize information. And these explicit taxonomies are used with enterprise applications like SharePoint for tagging documents for taxonomy driven search and for many, many other text to knowledge purposes. So we want those 100 people that we've been talking with to say to themselves, boy, five minutes ago, no idea what the heck a taxonomy was, but I've been using them all my life and using them when I use Amazon. Heck, come to think of it, I'm going to the grocery store after work tonight. There's taxonomies everywhere. Meat department, dairy department, milk, cheese, different types of cheeses. There's no mystery about that word, taxonomies, except one. Why have I never used that word before to describe how I organize information? I hope that's helpful. We find that when uh, we demystify that word and we... You know, use that uh, Amazon analogy. People say to themselves, boy, this is uh, no mystery to this. If I can find my knowledge, uh, my documents with my, within my company the same way I can, uh, same ease of use that I use Amazon, that's a good deal. I'm going to be behind this project a thousand percent. Want taxonomies, data models for search, artificial intelligence, BI analytics, big data, records management, data mining. 
predictive analytics, client classification, expertise, identification document tagging, many, many use cases, sentiment analytics. WAN provides taxonomies. We think about the Amazon analogy, the different libraries of types of products that they sell. WAN provides taxonomies for all the domains of knowledge within your company. You're gonna have libraries of accounting documents, customer service documents, HR, IT. WAN provides taxonomies for all of the libraries of operational documents. And then WAN provides taxonomies for all of the business activities within your organization. Maybe in finance and investment, banking, building and construction, hospitality, life insurance, manufacturing, medical administration, doesn't matter what industry you're in, WAN provides taxonomies that address all of the business activities within your organization. We deliver the taxonomies using our WAN taxonomy library portal. We're gonna take a look at that now. What this provides is online access to all of the WAN taxonomies. Our clients can browse, download what they need in formatted, load ready for whatever application that they're gonna be using them in. Provide regular updates, release new taxonomies on an ongoing basis. And we can provide the taxonomies for a single application or enterprise wide for many applications that you might have within your organization. Let's take a look at the portal. One taxonomy library portal, each one of our clients gets a username and a passcode. And this particular user, Ross Lair, is a good customer. And on his home page, these are the latest releases of taxonomies. These are the latest deliveries that I've asked recently. And these are the latest updates. Okay, we're constantly updating our taxonomies. So what we're able to do is go to the taxonomy library, browse the various taxonomy titles. Now, because there's so many of them, we've grouped them into industry verticals and aerospace engineering you can find your vertical here and what we're able to do is to click in to any one of the taxonomy verticals and we'll use financial as an example these are the taxonomies that will address all of the domains of information for a financial institution. Banking, finance and investment. A lot of banks have retail storefronts. Banks have real estate, different insurances, management, sales and marketing, HR, customer service, legal accounting, intellectual property, IT procurement environment, project management, workplace health and safety. Now what we're able to do is to click into any one of the taxonomy titles. These are the top level terms and the numbers of terms below them. Banking documents, customer documents, internal banking documents, banking internal processes, audits, litigation management, risk management processes. So we're able to explore risk mitigation, risk identification, credit risk, interest rates risk, operational risk. So what we're able to do is to explore the various taxonomy trees, then, you know, create a delivery. And we can create a full delivery of the entire taxonomy. Or maybe I just want banking documents. Selected branch. Then the system asks, what application do we want it formatted for? And we're going to say it's for the SharePoint Modern Term Store. That's what we need. We click on Create Delivery. And what's taking place now, that taxonomy is being formatted for the new modern SharePoint term store. It takes a minute, two minutes for the formatting to take place. We can then go to our delivery page. Now, 
a little bit faster than I promised. And the banking uh, for modern, modern banking documents for modern SharePoint term source has been prepared. I click on it, downloads directly to my desktop. There it is. And then I can import it into my SharePoint implementation. So it's a very simple model. Vast library of taxonomies. Our clients can browse, download what they need, formatted for direct import into whatever the AI application is, and use them, okay, as foundation metadata models. What can you expect? What can you expect? These are representative testimonials from our clients. This is what you can expect. Your SharePoint uh, project, taxonomy saved us a huge amount of time. We were able to deliver value immediately. We were able to import everything without a hitch. It saved us a ton of work. Having the taxonomies on hand really jump-started our document management process, provided us with a back-end organization that would have taken many months to get going. We were able to customize the HR taxonomy in less than a day to make it a perfect fit for that department. We only needed to add 50 terms, which was less than 5% of the total. Now, one thing that's important, we call our taxonomies foundation taxonomy. To this point here, every organization is going to want to do some customization. Our clients tell us taxonomies get them 85, 90% of the way there. Some of our clients tell us got us 140% of the way there because there were terms, phrases we would have never thought about had we built them from a blank sheet of paper like you know the IT policies. The one taxonomy proving very useful, saves us a lot of time in our deployment. We don't have to create a taxonomy from scratch. This is probably the key point. People are experts at what they do, not experts in taxonomy building. Editing the pre-built taxonomies provides an easy contextual reference. It's easy to edit something, customize it for your particular use that is already cur curated, okay, been developed by masters of library information science, but easy to make changes to it. Very difficult to build from scratch. Pre-built taxonomies required about 10% customization, enable the default search to be quickly implemented, helps with faster adoption. This is important. Users see relevant search terms quickly. Pointers suggested by Wand allowed me to socialize the benefits of the taxonomy, gain business acceptance. This one is, I, this, I love this one. Your workforce has been excellent. The libraries were a godsend for us. I look forward to working together for the future. I hope this uh, presentation has been very, very helpful. Taxonomy is no mystery. We use them every day in our life to organize our, organize our lives to find things. You know, if I went to your house, uh, I like to use this example analogy. We use a lot of analogies. But if I went to your house, probably be just like my house. I bet you'd have a kitchen library. And in the kitchen, I bet you got the spices all in one place, the utensils, so on and so forth. We organize our own homes, okay, in libraries, okay, a kitchen library, in the bedroom, you know, I've got my shirts in the same place, socks in the same place. And why do we organize things like that? So we can find them. Don't want to go to the basement and find the onion salt. I want it to be, you know, in the, you know, all in the spices so we can find things. If you're like my house, you've got all of your tools, okay, in the in the garage. Why do we keep them all together so we can find them? If only HP knew what HP knows, we'd be three times more productive. If we can only find all of the documents that represent the knowledge within our organization, three times more productive. Look forward to hearing back from you all. If you uh, would like to you know, correspond with this, my contact information is here, rosslairwanding.com. Thank you very, very much for taking time today. Let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.